Hello everyone, it's Brandy Janae. Thank you so much for tuning in to my channel today. Welcome if you are new and welcome back if you're returning. In today's video, I'm going to be giving you my woo, four year post-op from the gastric sleeve surgery. So if you're interested in learning more about my progress, please be sure to stay tuned. Okay, so first of all, let me go ahead and apologize for this shadowing behind me. Um, I am a hand, <laughs> I like to say I'm a glorified hand model. Um, but, so coming on camera is very strange for me and I never really know how to do the setup. So yeah, but I did get this new really awesome chair and I just wanted to sit in it, so I tried. <laughs> Here we are. I tried. Um, so anyway, on the day of me filming this, it is third, no, Wednesday, 626 day. So happy. I hope everyone had a great Wednesday. Um, great Wednesday, great stitch day. Anyway, I hope that you had a great day. And um, by the time you guys see this, it will be Thursday. So I know that I mentioned in my last video, which... I don't remember who it was, but someone reminded me that I said that I would talk about this again in June, <laughs> which I'm very happy, happy for the reminder because I totally forgot. Um, but one of the things that I would like to say is that I am still, I am still, 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 and I'm going to be perfectly honest with you <laughs> when saying this, but I am still making very, 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 very poor health choices it's like everything that I was doing prior to having the surgery is just like it's just back it's pretty much just back so I mean I'm like I'm not eating well I'm not sleeping well I'm not staying hydrated I'm not I'm, basically I'm not doing anything that I know that I am supposed to do and a lot of that is What is it? A lot of it is stress. Um, most of it is stress, especially from work and from teaching and just from, you know, I, I do a lot. Like I wear a lot of hats um, between, you know, teaching and being a YouTuber <laughs> and having an Etsy shop, like sometimes it can be very overwhelming, but the, I would say the major, the majority of my actual stress comes from the classroom. So being in the classroom this year, especially I developed like this whole stress eating thing, which I never really did. Like I've always been a snacker just because I just like snacks but not necessarily to treat a problem um I feel like that really developed this year because you know every once in a while I'm like oh I'm rude she always does this rude <laughs> she always starts talking in the middle of my videos um but anyway I don't even know if you guys could hear it but yeah um but yeah so I've always been like a you know, just a snacker in general. I'd actually rather have snacks than food most days, which I know is a problem, but that's just, that's just always my, been like my reality. Now that doesn't necessarily mean I'm going to have a bad snack. It just means that, you know, I just prefer a snack versus an actual meal. Um, but I do, I did notice this year that my bad snack tendencies were especially high this year my late night snack tendencies developed after knee well after i had knee surgery just i think from just being laid up around all day every single day with my leg completely elevated like i was always like you know snack time and it typically was before bed and that has also carried over into like now so those are things that you know i definitely am struggling with definitely know that I need to work on, know that I need to do better on. And 
I am going to, again, tell you that I am going to do my best. Now, what I will say that I did do since the last video is I bought a walking pad. I love it. Um, I especially love it now because I'm doing like homework. And so I will walk and do my homework at the same time, which has been great because it's definitely killing two birds with one stone. I am not using it consistently, but I do use it. So alleviating that I can't walk because it's too hot or too cold or too rainy or too whatever being outside. I have eliminated that excuse <laughs> and purchased the walking pad so that I can do it at home. So that has um, definitely been, you know, a positive direction. I have um, been researching different like juicers and things like that because one of the things that i am fortunate is that even though i'm still like i said not eating the best my portions are still very small i know after a while they say that some people's stomachs can stretch back out to regular size mine has not done that so i can still you know eat very small toddler like portions which i'm very happy about because it could like be totally bad if that wasn't the case so but because of that i am still not really able to eat like a full i would say like a full balanced meal so i'm not eating a meat a veggie a, you know I, i'm just not like i'm just i'm just not because still a lot of the times after i finish the protein portion i'm still too full to even eat the rest of it so i have been looking into seeing about getting like a juicer so that i am able to kind of drink <laughs> uh, my fruits and vegetables a little bit more just to make sure that I'm getting those in like I'm supposed to because I don't want to be you know on just like an all protein type diet because I know that in the long run that's not really good for you um another thing that I have done is gone through my um like health insurance and I got this it's called uh well the it's called teledoc health i don't know it's it they sent me an email through my health insurance because i do struggle with high blood pressure and even losing the weight did not like i was like oh um i'm not gonna have high blood pressure anymore and even my doctor was like convinced like oh no you're gonna be fine your diet has changed your weight's changed da, da, da. you're gonna be fine and i'm like oh, i don't think so because when he diagnosed me as having high blood pressure, like I was at the healthiest point of my life. So for me, you know, high blood pressure is just like a genetic thing that I don't know. I mean, I know that there are probably ways to get rid of it. I don't know. I don't really know the science of all of that stuff. All I know is it is something that I want to monitor because again, I know that being in a high stress situation can cause blood pressure issues and that is not something to mess around with so i did go ahead and sign up for that and i got this really cool little like at home blood pressure monitoring system um and so i'm able to do this in the mornings sorry i dropped it in the mornings every day i took it with me when i went out of town this past weekend um so that you know it's something that i can monitor and just check to make sure that um you know that part of me is is staying healthy i have started doing more just you know even just active moving in general so now with me being home for the summer like it's so easy to just sit <laughs> and um you know work or play on my phone or watch youtube all day or whatever like it's so easy to do that so just you know consciously making sure that i'm up moving around stretching things like that um, I have really made that a priority and I have also gotten myself a mini this is like a mini happy planner that I'm going to be using for fitness and health because it's something that I definitely need to track because trying to do it on my own without you know writing things down or writing down a plan is just not working so I've already kind of started with July. I don't know if you guys can see that, but I've already kind of started with July. My goals for July are to get more rest because my sleep has been absolute trash lately, like absolute trash. Going to sleep one, two, three o'clock in the morning, getting up, 
six, seven, eight, like trash. <laughs> so that's definitely something that I need to work on developing better sleeping habits. I don't know what happened. I got really, really sick with um, strep not too long ago and it like completely threw off my sleeping habits and they have just not gone back to normal yet. So I don't like that. Um, I'm going to start off my walking goal small <laughs> and we're going to go for three days a week. And then I want to do my blood pressure checks daily. So, and then of course, I want to make sure that I am taking my, you know, vitamins every day. I did get some additional vitamins to kind of help with my immune system because again, my immune system is also not that great. So, and then definitely working on staying hydrated. I have been making sure, like this one here is a Starbucks one, but making sure typically i have my stanley's with me but making sure to have it full and have it with me at all times because if it's not literally next to me i don't drink anything like I, it's so funny because so many people have issues with like oh i only drink juice or i only drink pop or i only drink whatever i, I don't drink anything like i drink a coffee protein shake like that is zero negotiation zero hesitation like those that gets done daily because if I do not drink coffee I get migraines <laughs> and because I can't take any other medicines or anything to control that coffee is what works for me so coffee is what it will be but because I'm drinking coffee and I know I'm going to drink it I also put my protein shake with that because that kind of kills two birds with one stone for me I am still on the hunt for a protein shake <laughs> i love okay so i my favorite protein shake is fair life and core power fair life core power, i don't know anyway that's my favorite like brand of protein that is the only one currently that i will drink by itself right off the bottle the rest of them bleh. um every other protein shake so far that i have had or tried originally i could drink them all <laughs> but then once i started drinking the core power fair life i've never been able to go back so if i am able to the problem is you guys like i get a subscription from amazon it's like 36 dollars for 12. yeah 36 dollars for 12 of them so i get that subscription once a month i am going to keep it but there are obviously more than 12 days in a month. <laughs> so that means I am adding in additional, you know, shakes. Usually I get like the Equate version of Premier from like Walmart because you get, I think, 18 of those for like 20 bucks. Um, so that's typically what I'm, you know, kind of supplementing. But I really, really, really would like to start drinking two shakes a day. So if anybody out there has a good protein shake recommendation that doesn't taste like poo that doesn't also cost a thousand dollars that would be greatly recommend greatly appreciated i do use one of the unflavored powders that also has like it's like protein and collagen or whatever but it's only like 10 grams of protein so i need something stronger than that but i do put a scoop of that in like with my water so i am you know at least getting that as well but I would like to start doing two shakes per day because I do think that'll help decrease some of the desires for snacking. And that was what they recommended when I first had the surgery anyway, was two shakes a day. But then when I started calculating the price for those two shakes a day, I'm like, but at the same time, if I can afford to spend all this money on planners and stickers, <laughs> then I should equally be afford to spend money on be able to afford to spend money on things that will help improve my health and my overall well-being. So it's a mind shift and I'm going to shift it because I'm sick of it y'all. Like I am still I still teeter in between like 200 and 205 right now like it just honestly it could be day to day you know it's just one of those things so i'm pretty much tilt teetering between 200 and 205 i don't go above 205 but i haven't been below 200 in i don't even know how long and i don't like that so i need to at least get back 
to what we all like to call as Wonderland. Um, I, I really, 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 really want to work harder to get back there because I the 200, it makes me more uncomfortable. It makes my reflex a, reflux a little worse. Um, and yeah, just physically, it just doesn't, it just doesn't feel good. So my goal for the rest of 2024 is to get back into the ones. I don't need to be like 150 once. No, I'll be happy with 199. <laughs> but my goal is to get back into the ones. So in order for me to do that, I am going to commit to recording my, you know, health. So my weight, my blood pressure, uh, my exercises, I'm going to record even like my mental state, like how are you mental check ins? Because again, now that I have developed this whole mental or not mental stress eating thing, like I, that's something that I need to be more mindful of and pay more attention to. Um, and then also just like what I'm doing to actually take care of myself emotionally so you know those self-care things i am going to commit to doing more journaling just so i can kind of get you know those feelings out and then like i said i am researching the juicing process because i would like i have done juicing before but then it it was just like oh i hate cleaning it i hate cleaning it i hate cleaning it i hate cleaning it but i know now they've had so many developments to make it a lot of an easier process for um you know everyone to use so i'm definitely going to look into that i have a few of them that i have in mind again if you have any recommendations for that leave them in the comments below um and i'll check them out i thought about just purchasing that but again like most people that you can buy the juice from it's like eight dollars nine dollars a bottle and i'm like mm, although that would be more convenient for my life i don't know if it's something that i would be able to do long term um, if I'm going to spend that kind of money, I would rather spend that kind of money for meals. So like a healthier, you know, prepared meal for me. Um, so I really need to contact that lady because at one point I did have somebody doing my meal prep, which was amazing. She would make my meals for the week. Um, and so one of her meals would essentially be two because, you know, it was a full size meal, but I can't eat a full size meal. So um, I really need to actually look back into that because... I want to, I want to do meal prepping, but y'all, I just don't cook. Like, I really just don't, but I have to, or I have to find somebody else to do it because I can't keep, and honestly, for the summertime, it's not even eating like bad. I just don't eat. <laughs> oh, that's another problem I have in the summer. I just don't like, it, it could be three, four o'clock in the afternoon before I actually eat anything for the first time. And that also is not good. Like it, your body goes into, you know, I'm going to keep everything in their mode. So it's not good. So I just have a lot of bad habits um, that I had before that have, you know, returned that I need to break. Uh, and that's just, that's real. Like that's just real. So my advice to anyone that is newly getting the surgery that is, you know, a few months out, a few months post-op, whatever the situation is, identify what those triggers are early on that make you, that cause you to make poor choices like health-wise. Identify what those are early on and then really, 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 really work towards finding different solutions to solve those problems. So for me, like I said, the stress of being in education has now caused me to stress eat, which I don't like. So I am going to have to find a different way to manage that stress. And I know most people are like, oh, if you exercise, it'll help. And I know that it will. I know that it will. But for me... <laughs> It's just not my go-to thing. And it's not that I don't like exercising. I actually really, 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 really like exercising. It's just the doing it. That's the hard part. It's the getting there. It's the getting up. It's the doing it. But once I'm doing it, I love it. It's just the, the act of, like before, it was the act of going to the gym. Then I'm like, oh, you know. 
<laughs> and even now, it's the act of getting on the treadmill. Because once I'm on there, I'm like, yay, you know, I feel good. I'm all like, woohoo, you know, just walking, got my music on, or I'm typing, doing my homework. And the next thing you know, it's been like 35 minutes and I didn't even realize what was happening. But it's the act of getting up and doing it. That that's what I struggle with. It's not the doing, it's the act of getting up and doing it. So that is what I personally need to work on. The getting up <laughs> and doing it part. Um, so with that being said, I am going to get up right now after I end this video. And I'm going to, in fact, go <laughs> get on my treadmill for the day and do these 30 minutes before I have to carry on with my e evening. And during that process, I can edit this video and work on some more homework. So I think that's it. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. Again, I am in no way, shape or form a medical professional, dietitian, any of those things, obviously. <laughs> I'm just a girl out here trying to not gain all of the weight that she lost back. Um, I am proud to say that I am still, even at, you know, 200 to 205 I'm still over 50 pounds down. I didn't have as much to lose as other people. Um, I'm So I'm still over 50 pounds down and I am still, you know, maintaining my size large um, clothing, size 12 clothing. I'm still maintaining that. So even with the fluctuations in my weight, which is great. I'm very um, fortunate in that way. But again, healthier choices need to be made. And so I'm going to commit to making them so hopefully the next time that you guys see me i have some much better much better progress updates <laughs> and um i can show you guys more concretely with you know with the planner that i have in fact been tracking and keeping up with what's happening i know they have like the digital you know apps and things i was using my fitness pal for a while and although those things are great, again, I need paper. Like something about the paper makes it more concrete for me. Um, having it in your phone or whatever, it just doesn't, it just, just doesn't work for me long term. I need, I need the paper. So that is what I'm going to do. So thank you guys for tuning in. I know this video was very chatty and for most of you, it will not apply to your life at all. And <laughs> But for those of you that it does apply to, I appreciate you for being here. I wish you so, so, so much success on your journey. Um, definitely leave me some motivational words, some tips and tricks if you have them. And because um, I welcome all the things. But don't forget to be kind because, yeah, that's what we do here on this channel. We are kind. <laughs> And everything we say is with love and good intentions. So, but yeah, definitely leave me any kind of information that you may have because, again, there's a lot that I don't know. There's a lot that I don't understand. I ain't even gonna lie. Like, after I finished doing this, I think I went for a follow-up visit, like, mm, probably that first year. But I haven't even seen the doctor. I'm supposed to. But they didn't call, they haven't called me. Like, they haven't reached out to me, so I haven't really reached out to them. Like, I think COVID, because I got my surgery done during COVID, it just kind of ruined that accountability piece because, you know, we weren't meeting in person anymore. Everything was virtual for, like, the first, you know, year and a half, two years. And so, it's almost just like I kind of got lost in the COVID shuffle of life. So, perhaps you know, linking back with, up with them or linking back up with people that have gone through the process that I've gone through, that probably would be helpful. I need to look into that because then, you know, we can kind of motivate each other because this process is different than just losing weight on your own. It really is. Um, you know, just how our body responds to things is different. How, you know, we eat is different. Just it's just different emotionally, physically. It's just different than me just losing, you know, 60 pounds on my own. So I probably should do that. Maybe I'll add that to my list of things to look into more like accountability partners. 
um, that have gone through the surgery as well. In addition to people that have not gone through the surgery that can just, you know, provide that uh, encouragement or feedback or whatever. So anyway, you guys, I'm going to stop rambling now, but thank you so much for being here. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave me a thumbs up. Also, do not forget to hit the subscribe button if you have not already done so and the notification bell so you can be notified whenever I post a new video. You guys are amazing. Be safe, be kind, or be quiet and be well and I'll catch you in the next one.